What the fudge is up, YouTube? It's your boy T Fresh interviewing my good friend Eric and his spicy Reinhardt list. Eric, say what's up. What's up, guys? All right, Ryan, pick, tell me why you're playing Reinhardt. All right, well, I'm playing Reinhardt because we got some new cards from this Dynasty set, and uh, the ones I'm talking about are Berserk and Savage Beatdown. Okay, okay. And uh, those two cards is what this deck's built around. And then you got Skullcrack up here, which is that extra added bonus. Those three cards really put Reiner in the mix. So I'll just get right to it. Yeah, let's get into All it. Right. All right, so I'm going to start with the blues here. This is super spicy. Oh, yeah. This is if you want to get real spicy. Otherwise, I wouldn't worry too much. You can put that in anything. You don't have to. That was because I didn't have a third tear limb from limb, to be honest. <laughs> um, Savage or Barrage and Beatdowns. I'm only running the blues. I'll get to that later. Tear limb from limb. This is we're running because it's draw a card and discard a card. That's going to be the main theme of this deck. Sand sketch plans, same deal. Draw a card, discard a card, and you're getting two action points. Recurrent blue, it's because it's unfortunately our only blue that is a six power. And then you got your reckless swings, which ultimately most of the time Reiners will play, players will tell you that's what wins games. Okay, that's pretty light on the blues, but that's okay uh, because we were pretty heavy on the yellows. We got your smash instincts. We're only running yellows just because of six power. If you're playing Reiner, you need to have a six power. That's why you're running that. Pat calls the same way, but with a little additional bonus, these could be any other cards, honestly. Blood Rush Bella, you have to run those. That's so apparent why. It's the one of the best cards in the entire deck. Riled Up, this one works pretty well for us just because what we're trying to do with this deck is we're trying to attack twice. And if our second attack can come in three for seven, that's good value. And then we got Reincarnate. This is another new card. It's not super good. It's not super necessary. It has a text that, you know, has a little bit of an effect. You know, let's move on from that. It's, it's, it is where it is. All right. This is a yellow, but this is a cyborg yellow. This is Arc Smash. Dash might be a, a real thing. Um, and just playing Arc Smash against Dash can really ruin their day. Now we got Beast Within. Beast Within, we saw in the late meta of last meta, the Dynasty or the Uprising meta, that Beast Withins were still slowly shifting out. They're back in because we are discarding every single turn and we do want the extra effect. Now let's get into the bread and biscuits of this deck here. So Berserk, until the end, or yeah, until the end of turn, whenever you discard a card, reveal a top card. If it's a base power six or more, you banish it or, or you, all right, let's back that up. All right. When, until the end of the turn, whenever you discard a card, remove a random card with six or more power, banish it. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. If it has a base power six more, you draw that card. So basically, this makes it every time we're drawing a card and discarding a card, this will give us that card right back. Uh, we're keeping a hand, our hand at a steady three, which allows us to continue chaining attacks together and together. Especially when you do it with a Blood Rush Bellow turn. I mean, it's just at that point, you're winning the game for sure. Savage Beatdown. This is another effect that wants you to draw a card and discard a card. You have to do that before you can even play the card. And then once you do that, you you dish, uh, as additional cost, you discard another card and it gets plus six. So you're coming in for 12. You already did a, a Reinar ability to intimidate the first time. So you already took one card away. This is getting another card away. So at the minimum, or at the maximum, they have two cards to defend with. That's two cards to defend 12 damage. That's, that's gonna leak so much damage through. That's what you want. And these are the cards that we are really building this whole deck around. So let's get to the reds here, which really generate the engine for this deck. So we got Bear Fang here. This card does not block. And a lot of the cards that we want to happen, like this Tear Limb from Limb, doesn't block. And But we keep them in because what this card does is it draws a card and this card's a card. It does not have go again. So this one requires the scab skin letters to be rolled so that we can get that go again. Uh, we're gonna roll this quite often with this deck, uh, but we are running the gambler's gloves to be able to afford that. And you know, with Reinhardt, you just kinda gotta get lucky. Moving on to pulping. This one we don't have to roll for because this one's gonna draw a card, discard a card, and if it's gonna get dominate if it's a power six or more which most of our deck is because we're not running a lot of non-attacks. It's really just this, this, and then some of the blues. Uh, but anyways, if it's 
Uh, discards a card of six more, it gains Dominate, and if it's not blocked by two more cards, it has Go Again. So here it has Go Again on its own. That means if we can Berserk and Pulping in one turn, we're getting extra cards. We're keeping that attack chain going. We're getting two attacks in, possibly three. Pack Hunt, this is just a two for six. That's just great value. That also intimidates. This is what we use for our second attack. Come in with Pulping and then come in with Pack Hunt. 12 damage right there. Skull crack, you know, it's a it's another two for six. It does not have intimidate, but we're really running it so that if we do discard this card, we get an extra resource, which is super, super valuable. Cadaver's contraband. This is another sideboard type card. We want to play this on decks that we don't think will block us because this card will allow us to put either Berserk or Blood Rush Bellow back on top. Most of the time it'll be Blood Rush Bellow if they if this hits. And it's a six power, so that is on curve where we want it to be. And it's a two for six, so the value's there. Wild Ride, this is another card that does not block, but if you draw a card and discard a card with six more power, it'll have go again. So this allows for that double attack. We're looking to try to come in for at least 12 damage a turn. That's on par with Phi, and that's the one we're racing. Uh, we got Savage Feast. This one is the only one that will have you discard a card before drawing a card. So this is another one where you're gonna have to roll the Scavskin letters. It only costs one for six with that ability. If we have this with a Berserk, it's really good because we're drawing two cards basically. Um, and it costing only one, we can really have enough resources to keep coming in. Uh, Erase Face is another sideboard card. This is definitely for the Phi matchup. Phi is gonna be the hardest deck we're gonna face. Uh, so we do wanna have a lot of sideboard cards for that deck. Swing Big. This is just simply a two for eight, and that's really where it's at. That's the value right there. That's why we play that card. Command and Conquer. This is a potential another sideboard card, but ultimately this card is great against most decks. Maybe not so much against Oldham or Icelander, but either way, it's a two for six on value. And that is part of the main deck, not including the equipments. Let's get into the equipments. I'm only running the club. I'm not running Claws, and the reason is because the old deck would just kind of do some you know pack hunt some off our turns and then come in with a blood rush bellow turn and try to claw claw big attack well with this deck we're trying to just do big attack big attack always and so if we can't do big attack big attack we'll come big attack club and that is usually 11 damage and that's where we want it to be scab skin letters no rhino player is not going to play this fiendless spring tunic we're still running this because <laughs> as brute players we don't have any better uh, chest equipment as of now. Crown of Providence, it's just a better uh, headpiece right of now. We'll run the Novrim Gloves and the Skull Horn for our AB package. This is coming in for uh, Viscerai, but we'll have this for the Wizards. Um, and then Gambler's Glove will help us keep our scab skins going and keeping us rolling multiple times. So that is the Reinar deck. It could use some work, but I think it's, uh, it's about 75% there, and uh, yeah, I take it on you guys, the, the viewers, to, to take this deck and improve it and win your local armories and possibly your pro quests. Of course, I was going to say, with pro quest season coming up, and you know, as you say, we're going to keep grinding out deck lists and keep grinding out how we're going to get these going. What was it, like, what are you thinking of changing? Like, what, what do you think of? I know, you know, you and Team mm -hmm. Sneep, I know you guys are all, you know, mm -hmm. spicing up some stuff for, you know, they got their Pro Quest season down there. We got our Pro Quest season here coming in January. We we'll like, get some Sneep people over here. Well, we, you know, you <laughs> might. Hey, man, we get, you know, you never know, man. But oh. hey, what do you, what do you think? Like you said, there's some cards you think you can cut. There's some stuff you think you can change. Like, yeah. Like, you, you want an armory this past Saturday with it. I you did. know, Reinhardt's picking up some steam around here in Vegas. Yeah. Um, you know, as a five player, I'm not, you know, it works out for me sometimes, even though I just lost to this about five <laughs> minutes ago. But, uh, That's cool. Game, it was a close game you know but it's gonna be fun especially because it's like we're getting more diverse diversity over here in the yeah, Vegas community yeah. finally not just five old and Icelander we're finally getting some Reinars we're getting some dashes mm -hmm. but yeah like you said what are you thinking about what do you what do you might change in here so I think what you want to do is you want to be able to beat Icelander and you want to be able to beat Fi. You already have a good matchup in the Oldham. Oldham's always been Reinars like good matchup right, so right. you want to try to because honestly I think Icelander and Fire are still going to be in the meta. I think that's it's still going to be there. I think Dash will be there as well. But we got stuff for Dash. We're fine against Dash. What we really need to do is focus on beating Fi. And this deck tries to keep pace with Fi. However, sometimes you do have to block with this deck. Sometimes you can even afford to block with this deck. And that's where 
I think this deck could use some improvements. As much as I like Terra Lim from Lim, I think we do need something that blocks, you know, and not that doesn't block. Um, Bear Fang is another one that could just be replaced for something that blocks. Um, I used to have the Barrage and Beatdowns in. I took them out because I want Berserk to always hit. Maybe that's too much emphasis on Berserk. So there's a few things that can get t tweaked around and kind of see how this deck can just overall perform. Um, but really building it around these two cards, I feel very comfortable playing aggressive and rolling a lot. And sure, you're gonna have some bad Reinar days, uh, especially when a Beast Within you know, gets you five damage. <laughs> but, um, you know that one. Yeah, but um, you know, other days you're gonna you're gonna show them completely annihilate and come in with like like against poor Max. Well, here like I did Blood Rush Bella turn where I came in with pulping, pulping, and wild ride, and that's like <laughs> you're like, what are you gonna do to that? Yeah, know? what are you gonna do to that? So uh, this deck really has what it takes. It just needs just a few tweaks. Just a few tweaks. Yeah. While we're at the end here, you want to plug anything? It's your time. What do you want to plug okay. there, buddy? Well, um, I first off, I want to appreciate you for uh, inviting me to share my my secret little. It's not secret. My little spice Reiner. Oh. Um, but uh, yeah, um, if you don't know me, uh, go check out um, Sneep on uh, YouTube, and uh, it'll be the the one with the little colorful letters. Uh, but we make all sorts of YouTube uh, content with flesh and blood. Of course, they'll be they'll be in the link down below. You know, cool. go check out Hell Team yeah. Sneep. Hey, thank you, Eric. Thank you for the video. Hey, thanks for showing us T Team Blade Break. What you got with Reinhardt? Yeah, keep on fabbing. All right.